Okay folks, in New Zealand and just north we have to worry about some increased seismicity. And from the northern part of Australia all the way over to India we have to worry about some tropical cyclones. In the northern part of Europe, you know Sweden and Norway, we have to worry about some bad winter storms hitting, even the trains aren't running. Kim Jong-un received a pretty good endorsement from a powerful workers committee, that's a people's party movement and he's one step closer to taking full power. Uh, the road to World War III uh, starts with propaganda in Iran, putting 9-11, Al-Qaeda, all, all of this on them. Now, the United States is going to have to make a choice between allowing them to develop a nuclear weapon or to intervene and there may be one or two countries that have something to say about that um, and those countries themselves are very very worried uh, at the moment uh, now 11% industrial output might sound uh, good but this is China folks that's down from a year ago and that's very very bad for them and they're really starting to get worried about how the economic crisis is finally starting to affect them they're also worried about the United States uh, efforts in the South China Sea, uh, and they're worried that their people have recently caught the protest bug, as have the people in Russia, who absolutely don't need anything else to worry about given all of their uh, recent space failures. This road to World War III could unleash at any moment, folks, and keep an eye on it. Folks, NOAA, NASA, the ESA, IPS, everyone is now on board with us having to watch out for geomagnetic disturbances this week, but they all say something to the effect of THE coronal mass ejection will arrive late on December 28th. Now that might make sense if you are looking at NASA's uh, CME Evolution Endless Spiral or NOAA's C uh, CME Evolution Endless Spiral, you might say, oh yes, look, see, THE coronal mass ejection might hit. But folks, if you've been paying attention or you bother to look at any of the SDO AIA images, uh, you'd know we had two magnetic filaments rip off the northern part of the sun. And right as the second one rips off, just below that, that solar active region starts pounding off uh, multiple coronal mass ejections, at least five before they started uh, making those predictions. Now there was another one this morning and the northern uh, part of the sun became active as well. This is uh, uh, the coronal mass ejection that happened this morning after their predictions and uh, this just happened not too long ago. Uh, but it's active. In addition to that, folks, we have this dark coronal hole that's going to put forth a strong uh, solar wind stream that will impact the Earth around the same time as these. So we are going to have to disagree with that uh, one-day watch and say pretty much extend this watch from Tuesday, December 27th, uh, all the way to January 2nd through the new year. Now, in addition to the usual Earth effects and power outages and things like that uh, that we're going to watch for, we should watch the uh, effects on the Phobos grunt. You know that these things can decay uh, the orbits of falling satellites. You remember that from uh, a few months ago or a few weeks ago. So we're going to keep an eye on uh, the Fluxgate magnetometer, the induction magnetometer. We're going to keep on all, uh, our eye on all of this and let's watch for falling satellites and uh, geomagnetic activity uh, this week. And let's keep watching the sun, folks. She's not calming down anytime soon. Be safe.